Today we're going to be talking about dropshipping on Etsy and how you can do it too. I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide as well. I literally do it in front of you and these products will actually be going onto my Etsy. I'm just going to start with a little bit of a definition. You might have heard the term, you know, around in the industry before, but you might not know what it means. So according to the Collins English Dictionary, to dropship an item is to have it sent direct from your supplier to your customer. This is a common method of fulfilling online orders. Oof, well words. All that means basically is you can create this kind of product. I'll be using Printful and I'll be designing a product so it could be a notebook, it could be a mug, a t-shirt, a bag, that kind of thing and I'll be uploading it onto Etsy and then that's me done from there. The person will see the product, they'll pay for it, that money will get sent to me and my Printful account is connected to my bank so that all the money will come through. The Printful account will charge me for the product but I've already been given the money by the customer so nothing is coming out of my pocket directly and the amount that they take for the product will be less than I'm given which is where I get my profit and they will take care of everything they will pack the item they will ship it and that's all you have to do and the best thing about this is that once you've done the initial setup of the product it's passive income from there people can make thousands people can make thousands a day from doing this but I don't want you to get the idea that it is completely passive income because you will have to do the setup stages which is what I will be taking you through now and I'll be showing you how to design some really simple products that are effective and will sell. Now you can also sell your products in different places whether it be eBay or Amazon but you've got to appreciate that there are different fees for each platform, some better than the others and Amazon, though it is a bigger place you, you are potentially likely to get more customers the fees are a lot worse and you get a lot less for your products so that is something to bear in mind but of course it depends on a range of factors your niche what products are you making some will be more suitable for different platforms so it is a case of experimenting but I personally will be using Etsy today as it is what I am most experienced with and I think it works now I have a couple of products up on Etsy already I created a mug that is a social media expert mug, that's what it says on it, and it's done pretty well. I only set it as quite a low cost because the idea of it was a little bit more of an experimentation, and every so often uh, what will sell maybe a couple of weeks, three, four, maybe a week, and I will get only about £2 because that's what I set it as. I didn't want to be using it as something to make money, it genuinely was just an experiment, but it's been working and I don't have to do anything, and though the two, three pound I'm getting isn't a lot of money, it's coffee. So, it's something. I'm going to be sharing my screen with you today and you will see the whole process from start to finish of me creating the product on Printful and then sending it over to my Etsy store and you'll see it all up there together. And it shouldn't take too long. I also apologise for the reflection in my glasses. My light is not working anymore so I'm just using pure daylight but it's not very bright. It's just cloudy and grey but we'll just get on with it. Okay, so we need three things for this today. We'll be needing Etsy, Canva, and Printful. Now, if you don't want to use Canva, if that's not a thing you use, you can use Photoshop or any kind of creative designing software. Uh, now, this Printful account is a newer one. I started kind of with a kind of blank one just to make it easy for you to see everything. So we can take you right back to the beginning. So you just need to sign up for it. That's just like, you can sign up with Google, just a regular sign up thing. You don't really need me to show you that. And if you go over to product templates, we can start making your first product. Now you're gonna have a think about what kind of thing you wanna make. So for example, I, as a social media manager, try to make social media manager based products, or maybe those more suitable for influencers or that kind of thing. So I'm gonna be creating something to do with that. Even I don't know yet, it's kind of hoping for some inspiration. So if we go to create more product templates, you can see all of the different things you can create, and there are so many. You can do, this is just like the, the basics. You can do clothing, you can do hats, which is supposed to sort of clothing, accessories, home and living, collections, brands, which is fantastic. I am thinking of creating, I'm just gonna have a look, I'll have a browse. I think I'm gonna do something from home and living and I think I'm just gonna do a mug because I've got one of those up already and it did pretty well. So I've got mine set to deliver in the UK but you can change that depending on where you are. And I'm just gonna go with the cheapest, a white glossy mug because if you've got to consider how much would you personally pay for a mug as well before charging other people because the more expensive the initial product is the more expensive it's going to be overall and then the less you'll probably make from it so for the design of my mug we're going to go over to canva you can actually type in mug onto canva and i'm pretty sure they do have some different designs um, they're all a square which i think is the easiest thing to do for this but it depends on the product that you're making so you can have a look on here for some inspiration depending on the kind of thing that you want to do even have a look on pinterest for inspiration if you can't think of anything i am so indecisive and this is the bit that just takes the longest for me hmm, okay so i've had a look and i've got some ideas i'm just going to start from scratch i think and create something 
we'll just see what happens and look how cool this is it does actually show you a preview of what it looks like on the mug which i think is just so clever i want like a little cartoon kind of thing maybe maybe some sort of text that's like you might not like this it might be really embarrassing i don't mind that i'm not sure if it's my favorite design in the world but i don't hate it but this is the thing you can do loads of different designs the only thing is it costs 20p per um etsy product upload which can add up but it's not it's not a massive fee if you have a little bit of money set aside for this project then the 20p won't matter to you so you're going to download transparent file and make sure it's png it may be a little bit bigger than the suggested size and then go back to printful and select choose file upload and we're going to place it and if you want you can put it on both sides as well um but you'll see in a second what it looks like when you do a 3D view. With this idea, it wouldn't be facing you when you're drinking it, it'd be facing the other person, which makes sense based on the product. Not my favourite mug in the world, but um, it gives you an idea. Do I want it on both sides? This is what I mean, you can duplicate it and put it on both sides. No, I just want it on the one. Two hours later. No, I'm gonna put it on both. No, I'm gonna put it on both. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm gonna call it save product template. And then I'm gonna go add to store. I'm going to go add it to my Etsy, edit print files, so that's what that looks like, then proceed to mockups, sorry I want that to be my main mockup image, because um, obviously it's in an office, proceed to details, and you can update this, but this just gives you an idea, and then keep all this because it tells you all the stuff that they'll need to know, like all the safety stuff, and then add, I'm going to add all these tags I've already used before, because they helped me last time, and then I've got some different sections, so I'm going to put them in my mug section, Shipping costs, that's all sorted. So this is the, the interesting part. So this is where we see how much it is and how much you'll make from it. So this is the profit section where we just choose the prices. Now you've got to think about a few different factors. That took me not very long to make. Not a lot of thought really went into it, especially as it's just an example. So it would be unfair for me to charge, to make my profit be £20 and try and get someone to pay £28 for a mug. And would someone really pay £28 for a mug? Probably not, not even including shipping. So we're gonna say, I only really want, my goal is to have enough money for coffee with every passive income sale that I make. And my coffee is £3.15, um, and there's a few little Etsy fees that I have to pay, so I just want this number to be £4. So I'm gonna increase it by £1.60 to get me to £4. So then that is £10 for a mug. Now would you pay £10 for a mug? I don't think I would, so I might just make it three pound um, and experiment with it you might think well what's the point in getting like about two pound fifty for something it took me no time at all to make it no time at all to even list it so an extra three pound here and there is fantastic that doesn't even bother me so submit to store and it's adding my new product to the store now if you go over to my Etsy this needs a bit of a revamp so please do not judge okay so if you go to your listings and head over to drafts your product will turn up there and you can click on it, uh, so you've got the title and everything that I put in, and you can see the mock-ups which look great I think. Again, I'm not 100% sure on the design, but it does just give you an idea of how it all works. And if no one buys it, I didn't really invest that much time or money into it, so it's not too bad. You can add a video if you want, you could add a video of you doing the movement on the 3D mock-up and just screen record it, but that's up to you. And all your information is added onto it, so it's ceramic, you can just go through and make sure you've any information that you need to have. All my tags are added, the prices are done for me, which is what we worked out over there, which means I get, I'll get, i get about a £3 profit per sale. Now, it does tell me that I am charging too much for delivery, but that's just how it is. You could do it so that you make it look like it's free delivery, which is what they suggested to us before, but then the product, the value of the product itself will be much higher. Um, I just find it easier to do it this way. You can see where... where you know, how much it'll cost depending on where people are buying it from. But these are things that you will be able to experiment with yourself through trial and error. I'd like to say I am only in the beginning stages of the dropshipping world, um, but I do think it's worth talking about and worth sharing with people who want to get into it so you can see what it is like as a beginner and the easy methods that I found through experimenting. Hey, so I'm just editing this and I just wanted to quickly say that since filming this, I've actually experimented with two other sites that I think are definitely worth looking into. So one is called AOP um, and it's kind of like printful uh, but I think it's a little bit cheaper and I've just found it more 
I don't know. I've just I've just enjoyed it a little bit more than Printful, I think. A little bit less complicated, but you are limited with your mock-ups. Like, I don't think they look as good, um, but definitely something worth looking into. And then Redbubble. I used to use this a lot when I was younger because I think you can use it at pretty much any age. Um, there's no, like, you don't have to be 18 or anything. And I've jumped back into that, and they look really good. They're, I think that's the best site presentation wise but you just have everything on redbubble and you have a page on there rather than putting it onto your etsy or onto your website uh, but you can share it to pinterest and stuff like that and you can find sales through that but yeah they're definitely worth looking at and then i'm going to publish this but that's the product up and that's how you do it now you can use etsy advertising if you'd like to this is a little controversial i've heard mixed things but i've had personally good experience with it the idea is basically you don't pay for anything until you make a sale or until someone clicks on the item. If someone clicks on it but doesn't pay for it and then comes back within 30 days and pays for it, then you'll still get charged for your Etsy ad fees. Uh, but it's not too much, you can set a budget per day, it could be, I'm pretty sure it's like as low as two pounds per day. But it's something worth considering. Um, again, I'm, I'm not completely thrilled with this product from a design point of view, but someone might like it, it might be something that interests people but it's definitely something worth looking into if you have a spare few hours to do some like creating and some designing and you have the time to upload the products like I say it doesn't take too long especially once you get into it and I've given you the resources and um, like the websites and stuff that you need for this but I might film an update um, to let you know how it's all going I will be doing a few more products just today to get them up there just to leave it going off in the background you can create different things if there's anything trending you want to jump on the trends for example, I have a feeling that some sort of Love Island related merch would do quite well right now. It's not really within my niche, but there's a lot of, you know, f phrases that you hear them saying that could you could put on a t-shirt or do something silly with it like that. But it depends on your niche, the the kind of people you want to target if you're even bothered about sticking to your niche because it doesn't have to be products that represent you. You could be doing it just to get products out there that commercially will do really well. Um, it's just whatever works for you, but it's definitely something worth considering and looking into and I hope this might have helped you. This is another addition to my Etsy series of making passive income through Etsy. If you have any more requests or video ideas, please let me know and I will make them for you. Thank you so much for watching and please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you find it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!